watched a beautiful montage of me machining up all of these cat nuts and stuff for the heads on the Indian Larry Chop. And I just dropped one of my nuts. So, uh, in all honesty, I can't do that right now because of a little something I've discovered that uh, whoever previously worked on this bike has a lot of the wrong head bolt washers on the bike. So I had to order up some head bolt washers and uh, while I did that, I ordered the hardware to put the oil pump on. So uh, what to do? Well, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this gas tank off and we'll uh, go ahead and make the top motor mount. But I'll show you what I mean by the washers. So here I've got a factory head bolt and this is one of the puppies I've made up. And you can see when I've just threaded it together. And this here is the stud I bought. I bought a batch of these studs from McMaster Car. And basically, I got these cap nuts and I just thread it together. And that gives us what we need. So there's that. And what I, if I need to, you know, measuring from a, a head bolt, you know, I've been cutting off just that little bit at the end there and they've been working just fine. But the real problem I got is somebody has been using these washers here and I have these is what I need. See how thick that is? Let's compare, shall we? So uh, it's not going to get it. There's a reason why Indian used these for the aluminum head. Where are you? There you are. So I need these thick ones and I don't have a complete batch of these. So where we're at now is uh, without all the proper head bolt washers I really don't want to go any further with that. And uh, what are we going to do? Well, I guess what we can do is uh, I'll zoom in. I'll show you the one head bolt I got on, how, how nice it looks. And uh, we're going to move on to the top motor mount. That's what I had planned for this episode. So we're going to have to pop the gas tank off. And uh, the only thing I can actually paint, I can't even get my arm around here. But I, I'll get in there later, I'll show you. But I had figured that Larry had used probably, looks like, a couple pieces of leftover half-inch round stock from making the sissy bar. <coughs> and um, he's got it a couple tabs here. And for the top, I had a hard time trying to figure out what things may and or may not be, but it looks like he just had a tab hanging down from up there also. So that's what we're gonna do. Like I say, all I have through this whole uh, build series, the only pictures are in Iron Horse uh, Magazine, issue 70. So uh, it's really the only good photos to go by. I've got a couple of photographs from some of the guys in the old neighborhood, some of the guys that were around at the time this bike was built, but um, not enough, and nothing really detailed, just old, blurry, you know, photocopy type things. <coughs> so we're going to do the best we can. That's what it's all about. Like I said, not going to be an exact clone. It's going to be the as close as I can get a tribute to uh, the bike that gave Larry his moniker. So uh, I'll show you the, the magazine, some of the, the photos and stuff in there, and we'll move on, and I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, guys, I'll try and make this as quick as possible. But uh, you can see here, you know, that there are two pieces of uh, round stock, and you can just see a little bit of the top tab here, but really, really just not enough. And if I try and move the camera in any closer, it just gets blurry, you see? So uh, I do believe that this is as good as it's going to get right in here. So that's the top motor mount there. Let's look at another picture. Now you can see here too, another good shot, but it doesn't show the top mount, but you can see pretty decent. And again, I'm sorry, this is as, as close as my camera will get in here to this without it getting blurry. But you can just see that he probably used flat stock on these head bolts and then welded the half inch round stock to, uh, to it. All right, this picture here, guys, the last one and the best one of them all. You can tell that's the half inch round stock he used on the sissy bar and how he's got it shaped right here. That goes to a flat piece of steel he used underneath the head bolt on either side. And up here you can tell it's almost attached the same way and I'm betting that's a flat piece of steel just like that with a bolt straight through to the other side, kind of like you know a regular Harley mount. And uh, this was a long time before Larry did a lot of his uh, organic square stock twisty stuff. So. We got to go with simplicity here, and I'm betting that's how that was done. And you can kind of tell right here the best picture of the motor mount. So here's the deal I deleted a lot of footage, a beautiful montage of me making pieces.
pieces in welding. I deleted it all. And I'll tell you why. Because this top motor mount just ain't going to get it. <clears throat> uh, when I put the gas tank on, you still see this tab hanging down at the top of the frame. So uh, it's not like what Larry did. I had two options to go with and 50-50 uh, shot. So uh, this is not three cherries. This is two bells and a bar. Uh, I gotta just pull the slot machine again for a win. <clears throat> That's the way it is. So uh, I'm not liking it. I'm not feeling it. Uh, I'm gonna go the other route and you'll get to see that beautiful montage of me machining parts and stuff. So right now we gotta cut this off and uh, get it ready to for the new motor mount. show I had. Down here was fine, where my motor mount bolted up to the heads. But right here, when I look at the photographs in the magazine, you really, it's, it's tough to see how it's mounted to the frame here. So I really had no idea. I figured maybe Larry made a little tab, and when I put the gas tank back on, the tab was hanging about yay down. <clears throat> and you can see it, and that's not how it was in the magazine. But these were all fine, these two rods coming up. And I haven't worked on this thing for so long, I kind of forgot. I started to make that sissy bow at half inch round stock and it wasn't right. <clears throat> and I used half inch round stock here and I should have used 5 eighths. So uh, hey, I'm getting back in the groove, here we are. So uh, what I have figured out is that I'm going to bet Larry used a couple pieces of round stock and he had one counterboard for an Allen, so one was welded in the frame, the other one met up on the bottom here, and that had the two tabs coming down with the heads on it. So, uh, that's what I'm going to go for now. I know I can get that sunk up really tight to the frame, really close. You probably won't even notice it with the gas tank and everything on. The gas tank kind of cattywampus now. But. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going for. And uh, I won't explain it a lot. Let's just go into a uh, machining montage and we'll make a whole bunch of new parts and weld them together again.
this will be the basis for my top motor mount. And I'll explain what I got here. This is one inch round stock. And actually, uh, this used to be part of a tow bar for the tugs at JFK Airport. My brother would bring home the steel that he found laying about. And uh, almost dropped that. So I've got this uh, drilled and tapped to uh, oh, 7 16 by 14. And you saw me counterbore this. Oh, there you are. And so what that does is I can put the Allen in here. And that will hide the Allen when she's on the bike. So this way, this will get welded up into the frame. And this will be the part that the two rods come down to the cylinder head. And all together, that will thread up like this. I had to grab this so I could finish it up for you. Well, it's going to be a little bit snug for me to do it by hand. But you get the idea. And you know, that'll, that'll hide that and that'll go together and I'll put the two pieces of the 5.8 stock going down to the head. And I can sink this into the frame really deep and get a nice tight weld on it with the TIG welder. So that's what we've got. And uh, I fear that I'm going to have to take the motor and tranny out of the bike to get a hole saw in there to blow a hole to uh, get this piece of stock to fit, but so be it. Let's get on out there and see what we got to do.
All right, we've got this top motor mount all tacked together over little bits. So uh, I'm going to take it out of the bike now, now that it's cooled off. So I can get it over to my welding table, and we'll finish off all the welding, and I'll dress off the welds and clean it up. And uh, you probably don't need to really see that. It's kind of mundane work. So uh, I'll get that all squared away, and we'll bring it back nice and cleaned up, put it back on. And I guess we'll move on then to putting the, uh, finishing up the head bolts and stuff. Patreon.com backslash Spritz by Fritz is always a great way to be one of the top supporters you can and uh, help with the projects that I do and so I can keep bringing you uh, YouTube content. Uh, jumping on SpritzbyFritz.com, maybe grabbing a t-shirt, coffee cup, a knick-knack, a tchotchke, or whatever turns you on, that's an excellent way to help too. Uh, next episode, what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we should install this. <laughs> <laughs> 